Since the beginning of COVID-19 outbreak, China has never stopped using and showing what it means to have advanced technologies to control and contain the spread of this known pandemic. As a result, they are now experiencing the benefits of using these anti-pandemic technologies. So today, get ready to see some of China's most advanced technologies that the country uses to combat COVID-19. Hey, how's it going everyone? This is Arthur and I'm back with something amazing to show you. But before we get into it, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell icon to keep you updated with our new videos. And so, without further ado, let me take you to my number one. Number one is high-tech manufacturers present epidemic control solutions at China International Import Expo. Smart equipment manufacturers at the third China International Import Expo in Shanghai are showcasing a variety of possibilities to save lives amid the fight against the ravaging and deadly COVID-19 pandemic. Every year, the high-tech equipment pavilion always attracts the biggest audience at the CIIE with a world of dazzling gadgets, providing a glimpse into what the future holds. But this year, many exhibitors have pivoted their focus to smart healthcare due to the obvious reason that the world is grappling with the COVID-19 pandemic. Number 2. Chinese hospitals deploy robots to help medical staff fight against COVID-19. As China struggles to contain the spread of the deadly novel coronavirus, some hospitals in the country have deployed robots to help ease the workload for medical staff and reduce human contact to avoid cross-infection. Robots do more than ease the burden on medical workers amid the outbreak. The devices also reduce the risk of cross-infections in hospitals. Number 3. The Inflatable COVID-19 Virus Testing Lab A mobile inflatable coronavirus testing lab opened in Beijing as China's capital set up efforts to boost testing capacity amid a COVID-19 outbreak. The lab can test more than 10,000 samples a day. Authorities said the capital has now doubled its testing capacity to 1 million people a day. Number 4 is STAR Anti-Epidemic Medical Equipment Displayed at China's Import Expo. Nearly 50 enterprises have brought their STAR equipment and most advanced medical technologies for COVID-19 prevention to the third China International Import Expo, the world's first personal medical protection system that integrates filter tripe respirator and protective clothing into one was displayed at the expo. can 
protect medical staff from being contaminated by splashing blood and pieces during operation in a comprehensive way. Number 5. Anti-Epidemic Robots at International Services Trade Fair in Beijing At the 2020 China International Fair for Trade in Services, robots have drawn much attention. Meet heroic robots on display at the Services Trade Fair in Beijing. They once worked in anti-epidemic facilities in China's Wuhan to help fight against COVID-19. These robots were employed in hospitals and concentrated quarantine sites in Wuhan to deliver medicines and other medical supplies, reducing the risk of cross-infections. Number 6 is China's high-tech industries capitalize on COVID-19 healthcare needs. The COVID-19 pandemic has put great strain on hospitals, which are short of enough workers and struggling to protect staff from the deadly virus that caused the disease. Many other industries are also scrambling to find ways to protect workers from infection. For some of China's high-tech industries, including those involved with robotics and artificial intelligence, coronavirus challenges are creating business opportunities. Number 7 is China's high-tech battle against COVID-19. The computer-assisted detection of COVID-19 takes only 3 seconds to make diagnosis based on the CT scan. The COVID-19 antibody test paper completes the test in 15 minutes. The nucleic acid testing kits can generate testing results in 90 minutes. All these devices and machines are produced by entities in Anhui in East China. And that concludes this video for today. Don't forget to give us like, subscribe, and share this with others. Once again, this is Arthur. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.